So I said, don't take the elevator, take the stairs. So he runs down the stairs. So he goes running out the apartment. But before he leaves the apartment, he turns around and he say, yo, when I get that hammer though, what you want me to do? You want me to give it to the I said, to push my new movie that I got out. You heard called Body Parts, the story of turquoise serial killer in the projects, a true crime story. You heard it's an hour and a half long and it's exclusively on Patreon. So I need y'all true Gen Pop supporters to come over to the link that's in the description of this video and come watch that movie because it's exclusive, bruh. You heard it's so exclusive, I couldn't just drop it on YouTube. I'm not really sure if it was him that actually stabbed me in the side. I didn't even know I was stabbed. Shit started in Kasaki. You know what I mean? It supposedly had something to do with a fucking NWA thing. Stay out of conflict, fucking thing, some shit. Where I don't know if it was my dude Ditto that borrowed the fucking tape or somebody else borrowed the tape, the NWA cassette tape. Well, however it went, the person that they the person that they borrowed the tape from, they dead the nigga on the shit, right? And that shit started like a little back and forth and shit. However shit spilled out in Kansaki, that shit started into a little back and forth, a little war and shit like that, you know what I mean? But it was ra like it was a black dude that deaded a Spanish dude for the tape? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know it was personally, I don't know it was directly my nigga Ditto that borrowed the tape and dead the nigga or was somebody that he was fucking with or whatever. Like, I don't know the politics, of, you know, behind the situation transpired in Kasaki because I was in Elmira, you know what I mean? But that's what supposedly had happened. And that's how this shit spilled over, how it spilled over in Elmira because they they transferred when the shit blew out, when the shit blew up in Kasaki, they transferred motherfuckers from Kasaki you know what I mean, to Elmira, you know, some Spanish, some black, you know what I mean? That's how my nigga Ditto came to Elmira. And the dude cut my nigga in the gym, you know what I mean? He cut Ditto as soon as he got came to the jail? Nah, he ain't, he ain't not as soon as he came to the jail. It was a bunch of politics that was going on. And meanwhile, during this time, I was keep lock. I was doing a long-term keep lock, you know what I mean? I'm getting little bits and pieces and shit like that. That what you know what was going on. However, you know what I mean. And nigga had, long long story short, motherfucker wind up cutting Ditto in the chin. You know what I mean. It was the nigga who tape got dead it, or just somebody that he knew. It was it was the nigga that um, tape supposed to have got dead it. Hmm. Now, however, like I said, I don't really know. Uh, if it was Ditto that was that personally dead the nigga, but some way somehow he, like he was involved with the situation that transpired in Kasaki that still done to Elmira. And the reason why shit got crazy in Elmira the situation because Ditto got cut. You know what I mean? Over the situation, you know. And all hell just went broke loose. What you mean, immediately or like in the weeks after that? Oh, um, kind of weeks after that because basically motherfuckers wasn't trying to turn it into like 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 no like no war type shit like that. You know what I mean? Niggas just wanted that person. You know what I mean? But that person was turning it into like a Spanish black kind of thing. You know what I mean? Hmm. They was turning into that, you know what I mean? It was turning into that. After, after Ditto got cut, they got him out the spot? Nah, he actually got away, you know what I mean? He, you know, it wasn't like, it was like a little scrape and shit like that, you know what I mean? It was a little scrape. It was a little scrape, and, um, you know, he made it back to his cell, was able to, like, you know, patch himself up and shit like that, you know, a little scrape. And meanwhile, like, I was on keep lock, you know what I mean? I was on keep lock, but I eventually got... I eventually got off a key lock and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it 
this is the only time I felt like a doja nigga and shit, you know, because we had a certain, you know, we, the way we moved and shit like that, you know what I mean? Because this nigga was like on point, whatever, you know, rolling with a bunch of, you know, like bodyguard type motherfuckers and shit like that, you know what I mean? Like on some fake kind of mafia kind of shit, you know what I mean? And like we wasn't trying to have the situation turn into like, like no race, you kind of like back and forth and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, motherfuckers, it's basically I, I, the hit, I took the fucking hit. What you mean? I, took the, I blew the nigga in the armory. Cut the nigga in the armory. The, the same kid who cut your man? Yeah. So he, he slipped up and wasn't around a bunch of niggas? Nah, nah, he, he slipped down. Niggas was around him and everything, but being that I wasn't a face that motherfucker knew and shit like that, you know what I mean? I was able to slip through and everything, you know what I mean, and bust him. And then, you know, all hell loose broke, and all hell broke loose in the motherfucking armory. Oh, the riot popped off in the armory? Yeah, yeah. You know, I got stabbed and shit, cause niggas, you know, niggas popped off and shit, you know what I mean? Like, niggas popped off and shit. Like, the next day or whatever. That's when they realized, like, oh, this shit is, like, this shit is getting serious and shit, you know? In the um, mess hall. But when it popped in the armory, like, police, saw it and got involved in all of that yeah they got involved in all that kind of shit it was, it was, it was they got involved in everything but motherfuckers was able to get away you know what i mean homie was able to get away and all that kind of shit you know what i mean it wasn't like no real crazy drastic type shit you know it wasn't no real crazy drastic type shit he was able to get away patch yourself up and everything you know what i mean so it was, you know, it was like left at that, but the next motherfucking day and shit, you know what I mean? That's when shit got serious and shit popped off in the mess hall and shit. And I got stabbed at my side. What, they dudes tried to pop on you in the mess hall? Yeah, niggas popped on me, you know? Spanish niggas? Yeah, yeah. And then another riot popped off in the mess hall or that's or that incident just, just happened? No, another riot. It was another situation that popped off and it was back and forth, back and forth. So how did how did that shit happen when where, where they stabbed we stabbed you in the mess hall like it was somebody that you didn't know like that you didn't know was fucking with them? It was him because me and him was going gun to gun, you know what I mean? Because they waited to uh, they waited to me they waited for me to come in the mess hall, you know what I mean? And and when I soon I walked in the mess hall, I seen a nigga crunch down and shit, you know what I mean? From the table and everything, you know what I mean? And me and I was I was ready and shit, you know. We popped off and then once me and him. Once me and this nigga was going gun to gun and shit and motherfuckers in the middle of the mess hall and shit, everything just broke loose and shit. Now, I don't know because everything was happening, motherfuckers around me and everything. I'm not really sure if it was him that actually stabbed me in the side. I didn't even know I was stabbed. You know what I mean? I didn't even know I was stabbed and shit. I didn't even know I was stabbed and shit until I slipped out the motherfucking, you know, when, when they started um, busting tear gas and all that shit in the motherfucking mess hall and everything, you know, motherfuckers were slipping out the mess hall. I slipped out the mess hall and shit, you know what I mean? I slipped out the mess hall and when, when I slipped out the mess hall, you know, police, you don't want everybody, you don't want to have mad people on the wall and everything. I didn't even know I was fucking stabbed, you know what I mean? Until, you know, police was looking at and you know, blood was leaking out my motherfucking, um, from my army jacket and shit, you know? And he was like, oh, this one, this one stabbed. And that's how I found out that's how I was stabbed. So you said everybody was popping in the mess hall? Like, it was a yeah. Spanish versus black riot in the mess hall? Yeah. And this was like, what, like 90? This was, yeah, 90. Yeah. Yeah, because I was in Elmira from, uh, in the 89 to, uh, going to, going to 90. Going into 91. Going into 91. Because I was in Comstock in 91. And like, I'm kind of hesitant to say a whole lot of other shit, you know what I mean? Uh, when I got to El Myrid and shit, you know what I mean? The, um, the jail was locked down and shit, you know what I mean? Because then in the, it, was a, it was a little race riot that was going on and shit like that. Um... I don't know the politics behind that shit. All I know 
um, bending them and shit, because bending them was an eye block. And, um, and the war, the war was with the rat hunting motherfuckers and shit. Bending them, bending them, it was a race, it was a race, a little race ride going on with bending them and fucking T-45 and shit. I heard T-45 died and shit too. But T-45, you know, he was like the head of the rat hunters and all that kind of shit. And, um, and then in them body one of them, body one of them and shit, and they had the jail locked down. So when I got the Elmira and shit, reception and all that shit, the jail was locked down. What you mean, nigga got body in Elmira? Yeah, in my block, yeah. When I first, when I came up, when I came, came from the island to Elmira, I was in reception, you know what I mean? You know, reception, reception is, um, is, is like separate. Only time that you would see niggas in population and shit, like if you go on the child and everything, you know what I mean? Because reception motherfuckers only was going to one mess hall, the first mess hall, and like you can get a glance if you see motherfuckers, you know, in the hallway, in the corridors and shit, the child and shit, you might see a few motherfuckers. I could see motherfuckers and everything. But when I came up there, shit, it was locked down. It was locked down because Ben and them caught a body and shit. Cause there was a little race ride going down and shit. You know, with the um, with them fucking rat hunters and all that shit. Um, T45, he from the Bronx, I believe. He was like the leader of the motherfucking um, rat hunters. Gang, you ever heard that gang in jail? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. T45, he was the fucking, um, like the leader of that shit. I heard that nigga came, he, he had dead all that fucking time and came home and died or some shit like that. I heard he dead. <sighs> Let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. The politics of jail from Rockers Island to state penitentiary is two different animals. Total two different animals. Total two different animals and shit. You know what I mean? And the reason why, especially with the with the with the racial kind of shit, you know what I mean? Because I, I ain't gonna lie to you, I was kind of like shocked and shit, you know? Like, like this a person I don't even know. I don't know if this nigga living or he living or, or he dead. I don't know what the fuck happened. To this nigga, you know what I mean? But I had a homie, and everybody like know who the fuck this nigga was and shit. His name was Indio. Indio was from the Bronx, Spanish dude. Indio was Puerto Rican. Indio used to get, just like my nigga Pedro, Pedro, you know what I mean? Pedro's from Brooklyn. But these was two Spanish niggas that got busy, but they always hanged around blacks, you know what I mean? And Indio was from the Bronx. And Indio used to get a lot of flack and shit, you know, um, um, you know, he used to hang, you know, he used to be hanging with, you know, you know the, the blacks and shit, you know what I mean? But let me tell you something. And this is, this was my dude. Man, this nigga, just, we done did shit on the island together. Let me tell you something. When that nigga came up north, I would never forget when I seen that nigga in the fucking, in the, in the, um, mess hall. When I seen that nigga, I'm like, yo, India, what up, homie? What's good, man? You know what I mean? Yo, that nigga looked at me like he ain't even know me. That nigga flipped out on some Spanish shit, on some <laughs> fuck mm. Moreno, all that shit, man, for real. <laughs> mm. He was, well, he was, he was, he was in the gang. I think so. I think he started fucking with all uh, the Nieta niggas and shit, man. Yeah, yeah. Yo, me and this nigga was tight when we was on that island. We was tight. We done did shit together. That nigga, he, all that shit. You know what I mean? And when that nigga came up north if, to El Maro, and I seen that nigga in the, yo, when I seen that nigga in the fucking mess hall, and I said, "What's up to that nigga?" He was sitting around a bunch of Spanish niggas. I was like, "Yo, India, what up, nigga? What's good?" Yo, that nigga looked at me like he ain't know me at all. That's what when up? I started hearing like, "Yo, nah, that nigga on that nigga on some fucking racial shit." He ain't say what up back or nothing. That nigga just that nigga act like I ain't know me. Period. That period. shit crazy. Period. <laughs> you know what I mean? Period. When you go to stop, right? You know we used to get the manifest paper, right? You can. You can see who coming into jail. They got that shit in green too. Yeah, 
you can see who in green that shit is public in green they put the shit they put it up in every dorm when i was in Comstock, they kind of they that shit was kind of public like that it, i think it was like a, it was like the list was like like on the wall or on the book yeah wall. that shit was a self-cleaning like, oven nigga they did that shit on purpose like get your enemies out of here don't let them don't let it turn into a riot get them out of here as soon as they come in here exactly and see that's what happened but this is this is how i got slips dropped on me and this shit extended from um the situation in that because when sun came to calm stop we was deep we was strong in there you know what i mean first of all we didn't give a fuck you know what i mean we were strong in there and i'm gonna just tell you like this homie will get busy nigga but he's one of those niggas that if the numbers, if the num- he ain't no type of nigga that got busy, you know what I mean? Shit got to, like, like the numbers got to be on his side. Who you talking about, the, 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 the dude that you cut? Yeah. The Spanish dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came to Comstock. He came to Comstock. And... His people came, stepped up, stepped to me in the yard and everything. So the thing was, me and homie supposed to when he come when he come from um, um reception and shit, me and homie supposed to go by in the back of the wall and shit and go gun to gun and get that situation over with. You know what I mean? But long and behold, you know how them Spanish niggas play, them niggas play dirty hearts. You know what I mean? So what they try to do, you know, this is how I got slips dropped on me and shit. What they was trying to do, we gonna drop slips on the nigga and everything. You know what I mean? Get the nigga away from his people and everything, and we gonna do him dirty and shit. But I'm smaller than that shit. You know what I mean? The nigga don't know that where he was at in reception, I had people around this nigga. You know what I mean? He don't even know that. You know what I mean? And I peep like what game? Cause I was in the, I came from the fucking um um I came from program. Cause me, Hamo, bless the dead, Sha, my nigga Rick, all of us, we used to always be in the back by the wall and shit. You know what I mean? We used to hang in the back by the up against the wall. We used to chill back there and shit. So boom, I'm walking through the yard and shit. You know, when I came from program, cause we used to always be in um um, um in the yard. And we be so boom, I come to program. So I'm not going to program and shit. You know, motherfucking police. You know, cause if you you can get called from the um, um from the yard and shit, you know the um um visit whatever and everything. So the police call my motherfucking name. So I'm like, oh well, fuck up, you know what I mean? Like, I expect no visit or nothing like that. You know, it's like the middle of the week. You know, what the fuck is going on? Man? Go, I go there and everything. I go to the motherfucking uh, I go to the tower. Like, yo, what's up? You know that tower? You know the tower between the gates and shit before you uh. That was right by the gate we go, you know, when we go on the go back, you know, that little mm-hmm. mini tower they got there, right? Mm-hmm. So, I was like, yeah, what's up, you know? Oh, I'm brown, what's up? It was like, yo, wait right there. Like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Like, like what's happening? Like, yo, wait right there, the police came and shit. Scott me and everything. I'm like, hold up, what the fuck is going on? You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck is going on and shit. Boom, nigga long story short, niggas drive slips on me and shit. It was an investigation and all that shit. Niggas boom, niggas put me in motherfucking um uh what you call that shit? Uh uh IPC shit, right? For investigation. This was the plot these niggas had. Yo, we gonna drive slips on the nigga and shit, you know what I mean? Say the nigga life is in danger, whatever that the niggas trying to get at him, whatever and everything. You know what I mean? Because where back then where reception was and shit, and um Comstock, our piece was like under it. You know what I mean? Like like reception and um um and our PC was like kinda like together or some shit like that. You know what I mean? So what they was going, what they was doing is like we gonna drop slips on the nigga and shit, right? And have the nigga there, and we gonna have our people get at him. That's what was the plan and shit. That was the plan, and the shit backfired on them because they didn't even realize that I had people that was working in reception. And niggas got that money and shit, you know what I mean? But they wind up transferring from me any motherfucking way. They, they, I got transferred behind that shit. And I went to Comstock, I went to um, Clinton. I went to Clinton. 
And let me tell you something, homie. <laughs> Yo, I went to Clinton, man. Yo, that's my word. Something told me to risk the fact and bringing a burner with me, you know, because I used to bring burners and shit in the loud mouth and all that shit. But I ain't had no chance to get no burner, no nothing. I was fucking butt ass naked. I ain't had no, but I'm a, I'm a fucking, um, I'm a gunsmith. I gotta make a gun out of any motherfucking thing, any fucking.